Hello everyone and welcome uh, this Sunday morning again and uh, trust you're all keeping very well and uh, as you can see ahead of you the demands here just a bit downhill I'm just overlooking this beautiful golden barley field here and what a lovely view and what a lovely morning it is I hope you're enjoying this lovely weather that we've been having uh, this last few days and uh, we're just overlooking Castle Rock there and uh, what a beautiful view it is here there's no place like like home as I say if you, if you get the good weather you couldn't beat this this country and away ahead of you Port Rush and uh, that's really beautiful beautiful scenery I love these golden fields with the barley I just hope that we're having too much noise in the traffic <coughs> excuse me and uh, just was driving past here and I thought this would be a lovely wee location this morning uh, just to do your little message just in the barley field I've done my message from this barley field before and uh, we're overlooking uh, Valley Castle this morning and the little message I want to bring before you uh, was, is a verse that uh, the verses that I'm, uh, I was thinking about is found if you have a Bible in Luke chapter 7 if you haven't a Bible please just contact me and I'll gladly get one to you free of charge just message me and I'll do my best and get you a Bible and uh, it's good to read along and it's good to listen to what uh, God's Word has got to say to us because that's God speaking to us to you and to me and the little message I was thinking about today is brought about because, uh, by a hymn a little hymn that we we, we sing with the, with the boys and girls in the Sunday school a lovely little course and it says he paid a debt he did not owe I owed a debt I could not pay I needed someone to take my sins away and now I sing a brand new song Amazing Grace the whole day long Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could ever pay and that was the little course that brought about this portion of scripture we reminded the Lord Jesus Christ you know a Pharisee in Luke chapter 7 and verse 30 6 we read how that a Pharisee invited the Lord Jesus Christ back to his house and uh, whenever the Lord Jesus Christ came in there was a dear lady a woman who came and uh, she was very down to the feet of Jesus and she was crying uh, before him and her ears uh, fell on his feet and she wiped them with her hair, hair of her hair and she had ointment as well and she anointed his feet and you know the Pharisee Simon he said uh, what there is, does this prophet does he know that this is who this is it's a sinner and you see the Lord Jesus Christ that's why he came to save sinners he didn't cast this sinner away and you know he never cast any sinner away he wants to save you that's why he came and the Lord Jesus Christ uh, this dear woman as he stood in that house this dear woman she washed the feet of her head but then what the Lord Jesus Christ said uh, to uh, Simon he said that how that uh, there were a creditor had two debtors and one owed 500 pence and the other owed uh, 50 pence and when they had nothing to pay he frankly forgave them both and uh, he asked Simon he said uh, which of the two do you think would I think the most he says I suppose he to him he was forgiven most and he says you have rightly judged and he uh, said unto him that I have come into your house and from I have come in you, you never give me any kiss and this woman she kissed him and she, uh, and, and she wiped his feet with the hair of her head and he's done all these things but he was bringing out a point to Simon what he didn't do and he said to this dear woman thy sins be forgiven thee and you know this is the compassionate loving meek saviour that I present before you today a saviour who wants to save you a saviour who loves you 
and a saviour. This is the point we want to get to. He paid the debt of your sin. Listen to the words of that little chorus again. He paid a debt he did not owe. I owed a debt I could not pay. That was the debt of my sin. I'm sure every one of us, I know we're living in difficult times. People are finding it uh, very hard financially, hard to put food in the table and pay bills. And you know, I'm sure every one of us at one point or other with a debt of some kind. And you know, the day came whenever that debt was paid, whenever the balance was zero, whenever it was completely eradicated, erased and wiped clean. And what a day it was, a day of relief. And how glad I'm sure you were and I was and whenever that was paid. But you know, there's a debt that no matter how much you and I do, we can never pay it. And that is the debt of our sin. But I can present you today to a Saviour who paid the price. The Lord Jesus Christ, he did it all. All to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, but he washed it white as snow. The blood of Jesus Christ reminded God son cleanses us from all sin. And the Lord Jesus Christ was the only one who could pay the price of our sin. Because it says he paid a debt that he did not owe. He didn't owe it because he had no sin. You see, you and I are born sinners. The Lord Jesus Christ was the only one who came into this world who was without sin. Even at his birth, the, the angel could say, That holy child that shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And in his death, we are reminded how that even Pilate marvelled at him. His wife said to him, Have they nothing to do with this just man? The uh, dying thief said, We indeed justly, but we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing amiss. There were those who falsely accused him. And even uh, how the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, whenever he, he expired on that tree, the centurion, that soldier, Roman soldier, he said, truly this was a righteous man. And you know, the one we present before you is a sinless saviour. And I thank you, I, I thank God I can say again, because my sinless saviour died, my sinful soul is counted free. Because God, God the just is satisfied to look on him and pardon me. He paid the price he did not owe. And I owed the debt, the debt of my sin, that I couldn't pay. But I needed someone to take my sin away. And now I sing a brand new song. You know, the psalmist could say that in Psalm 40, how that God had put a new song in his mouth. You could put a new song in your mouth today, even praise unto, unto God. And you know, it's Christ Jesus who paid. The word did he pay the debt? He paid it for your sin and my sin. He paid it on Calvary's cross. And he cleansed, there's another little verse of that hymn that says, He cleansed my soul and he set me free. There's another verse of scripture and we read, if the Son shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Why not trust him today? He's the one who can eradicate, erase, and pay, uh, uh, take away all that debt of sin that we owe. And he can save you. If you just confess your sin, repent, and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you do, you will have your sin erased. You'll have that debt, that debt which was paid for in full in Calvary's cross by his precious blood. He paid the ransom to set you free and you can be free and you can praise him and he'll put a new song in your mouth, even praise unto God. You know, whenever I thought about this, I can say that I'm still in debt. You may say, what do you mean? I'm in debt of the love that I, lo that I owe my Lord and it'll take the whole of eternity for me to pay that debt back because the love that Jesus had for me to suffer on the cruel tree that I a ransom soul might be you know it's more than tongue can tell he loved you why not trust him today and know him as your saviour thank you again for listening here from sunny Castle Rock as we just look out in the, in the I see there over this barley field and what a beautiful beautiful view it is today and just there and the hill ahead of you, you can see a wee peak there of the Muslim Temple. May God bless you this morning. Thank you for listening.